Hello, hello. Hi, Mr. Vini. Good evening. How are you, Eduardo? Fine. Good. Um, How was your day? Uh, as, uh, it was normal. It was, not, uh, it was normal, like all. You're working normal. from home, right? Uh, yes and no. No, I have to go out. No, I have to go out. Oh, so you're doing a, a physical uh, work in your office. You have to be physically there. No, no, that no. But the thing, I had to go out to visit the clients. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, to to give receive and other things. That's why I had, that's why I had to go out. Okay, all right, I understand. Yeah, and most of the time, most most of the time, I'm I'm outside. I'm outside. Okay, what parts of El Salvador do you usually visit? Central and, and, and Occident. Okay, the, the western part. Yeah. The western. I, I, I go very often to Lourdes, very, very often. Oh, really? What part of Lourdes do you visit? Uh, on whole, <laughs> because there are a lot of companies there, industrial companies in Lourdes. American Park? <laughs> yes, well, yeah, American Park is huge. Okay, good, good. What about you, Versave? How was your day? Mm, very tired, uh, teacher. I went to Santa Ana today uh -huh. uh, to supervise uh, the, the plants that we have there and was very, very tired. What um, time did you go? At, I was leaving at, at home at 5.20 five tw approximately. And I came back until approximately almost 7 p.m. Very oh, difficult. All day. Lord, yes, all day, yes. The 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 high, very crowded, the, the traffic of oh, so hard, teacher. Uh, mostly in the area of Lourdes. Yeah, it's Lourdes. Very difficult. Yeah. Yes, difficult. Yeah, yeah, especially in this Villa de Opico where they're having some kind of construction, uh, traffic can get difficult there too. Yes, yes, teacher, you're right. And, but I'm happy uh, for, for my English class Good. only because Good. <laughs> I, I am dead, I am dead. <laughs> okay. Mister, <laughs> Mister, how much time do you have of leading orders? uh like uh nine years maybe nine yeah nine years, nine years. oh you're you're you're, you're i'm new you're, yeah you're new because <laughs> i have because i know lord this a lot i remember when 20 uh, let's see 15 years ago there were there were no there they were no people outside on on the road say, say, selling fruit yep yep but now it's full. Of yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Lourdes market it's 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 very chaotic, you know, and and yes. people are exposed to car accidents, uh, pollution. So uh, and, and, you know the funny part. Uh, how do you say alcalde in English? Mayor. Mayor. mayor teacher? Yeah, mayor. The mayor. So, uh, yeah, he he's been in power for. Oh my goodness, a uh, long time, like 25 oh. or 30 years. And, you know, I think it's one of his functions to uh, to put a market in, in a nice place, you know, yeah. order yes. and everything. But, you know, that's that's politics. So anyway. Yes, yes. you're right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we'll see what happens next year if he gets elected again or if they give the chance to someone, <laughs> someone else. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I that's one of my main complaints about yes. the the city hall from 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 Lourdes that you know like yes. the, the main market that creates traffic. People are exposed to have car accidents. Uh, there is yes. pollution. I mean, so many things. But anyways. Yes.
Many, many things. All right. So today is okay. payday. <laughs> is it payday for you guys? Uh, yes. For me, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yeah. In some companies, yes. they pay once a month. In other companies, they pay uh, twice Two. a month. Yeah. Twice a month. Yeah. Yes. So twice a month is a big advantage uh, for people that have um, limited resources. That's a big help, you know. Yes. yes. When you, when you get it's paid true. every every two weeks. So we'll see. So it's December the fifteenth. Nine more days, and we will be celebrating uh, Christmas. You know. Christmas. Christmas Eve is yeah is Christmas correct. Eve exactly yeah Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve exactly yes thanks for the correction Christmas Eve it's been a long year it's been a long year <laughs> yes wow yeah a lot of news national international <sighs> yes uh, teacher so many things a year to remember exactly mm -hmm. for sure a year to remember yes. yep. Arnoldo, how are you? Mm -hmm. Arnoldo, are you there? Maybe not. Janita, how are you today? Can you Probably that they have Hi, the same yeah. problem. Ah. How are you, Janita? Okay, good, good. Did you have a good day? Okay, so let's begin. Um, do you remember the topic we left incomplete yesterday? Uh, we are talking about about the uh, grammar part of grammar. Mm. But what was the topic we left incomplete? What was the topic we were doing, but we didn't have more time? We were speaking about vocabulary. Do you remember that topic? Do you? Okay, if you don't remember, don't worry. I will refresh your memory. Thank you, teacher. Can, no, this is not the one. Oh, as a matter of fact, I sent, uh, yesterday I sent you guys uh, an image with yesterday's questions related with vocabulary. Oh. Can you see the questions that are on my screen? Yes, yes, teacher, yes. Okay, so just yes, we were, huh? we were discussing that, that question. Right. We were discussing that, that question. Exactly. So uh, I'm going to send you only the last part, which is the part you will be discussing right now. Uh, I want you to discuss questions six to ten. Let me create the room. But we, we, but we already did it. Yes, but we didn't have time to finish it. Uh, okay. Yes, so okay. um, you will discuss the last part, so uh, the last questions only. And here we go. I didn't have the time to 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 check the the question and answer them. Okay, I'm going, uh, to, I'm going to leave you for six to ten. Okay. okay. Do okay. you separate Do you separate your vocabulary list into words, items, phrases, verb, etc.? Okay. Let Let me number yeah, number I, six. I, I, I finished. 
Okay, this separate your vocabulary list in words, each in phrase and verse. Uh, no, I, I don't have time, Eduardo. I don't have time to separate them. And I want to, I, I, I want to because it's very important to, to, to separate and to memorize uh, these different parts, but I don't have time. I don't know in your case if you have time to to make it. Uh, it's very it's very important uh, these the, these uh, kind of separation. But in my case, it's it's difficult. Uh, my time is very um, uh, limited, and I can't I can't. But okay, okay. probably probably okay. Uh, in the future I have time. <laughs> Okay, number seven. What okay. do you know about the bad words in the English vocabulary? Mm, uh, I think <laughs> they, they, they are, uh, they exist <laughs> because uh, I think bad words uh, we have in, in all, uh, uh, in all idioms, in all uh, languages, is not uh, only for the the English language. Uh, I think uh, you have bad words in Spanish, in Portuguese, French, and uh, I don't know exactly, but I I I believe uh, we is is something probably uh, of the mind uh, to believe that this is bad word. Uh, I was I was in Spain and in Spain say, uh, they, they say or they speak words that we consider bad words here and for me was uh, horrible to listen to these, these words. In, uh, uh, when when the the people in Spain uh, uh, speak them, uh, you know, do you understand me? <laughs> was yeah. was a, a little a little uh, uh, not not pleasant for me, but it's yeah, it's the it's, a, it's a creation. Yes, yeah, yeah it's a creation of uh, in in our mind. Uh, for me is okay. I I don't I don't I don't say bad words because the 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 um, it is something that we are uh, we we have created. I think it's it's not uh, it's not bad. I think it's it's only in our mind. <laughs> I think. Okay. What do you think? Oh, primary maybe. Teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Taught out some bad words, but I can't. I can't memorize that bad words because he <laughs> said you have to memorize that words because if someone say you you are uh, like 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 that, you you are not going to say ah thank you thank you. Okay. You have not bad mm -hmm. words he says, but I can memorize that words because for me. Bad words are not good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But remember that e even in, in Spanish, uh, you know, people use a lot of bad words, like when you're using public transportation or something. So you need to be able to understand mm -hmm. what people are saying. And it doesn't yeah, mean that you speak like them, but yeah. you have to be ready for, for anything. Yeah, some people said that those are the yes. first words we learn in English. For example, even if we don't know how they how they... Right or spread right. them, but right. we have heard them more than once. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and, and you know, you're not supposed to use them, but you're supposed to know them. So when you hear them, you know, you are. Yes. Yeah. Are you talking about the F word? Yeah, all those words, the F word, the A word, and all the <laughs> words the that word. we're right. not supposed to say. <laughs> Yeah, it's, that is the mo one of the most common the F word. 
Yeah, because when you make a combination <laughs> with the F word, like F up, F off, F you, you yeah. know, the complement <laughs> changes the meaning of what you're saying. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> yep. True story. Yeah. The language with oh. other words in English. Uh -huh. Usually thinking... that happened in, in, the, in, an, in, a, in an environment where the two languages uh, are in the same place. But for yes. example, here, uh, I think um, some people mm -hmm. have these words and some other hear the word and they like the word and they, they repeat the word. It's not because there's people speaking in English in the streets or everywhere, but yes, like like uh, chévere. We 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 say chévere, indicating something good or mm -hmm. that I like. I like them. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Chévere is a is a word, our own word. I think is <laughs> kind of. Yes, yeah. for me it's okay. Yes, for me it's okay. I I and I I know the Real Academy of Language. Uh, mm -hmm. as, has uh, finishing to accepting these words. Uh, I don't remember right now uh, words that the uh, the e exist in the dictionary and are, are words uh, proper of the country. Uh, sure. I I don't know if if chevere exists in the dictionary yeah, it's right the now. But it, yeah. Yeah, it's the connotation of <laughs> the word. I think so, but for example, um, there's a now a pretty common word that we use, yes, like regular. When we say in Spanish, mm -hmm. we are talking and say you say okay, that's not yes. an, an, an a Spanish word. Yes, but we know how to use it and we use it. Yes, right. It's it's or for example. To... Or for, uh, yeah, or oh, for example, the, 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 the word yes, right? Mm -hmm. You are speaking with someone in, in, in Spanish and they answer like, yes. It, <laughs> <laughs> it's it, because yes. our, our simple words, regular words, the everybody almost know some of them and we use it. Mm -hmm. No, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. Number nine. What's the best website for learning vocabulary? For me, the dictionary. Bueno, first the dictionary. I think <laughs> to mm -hmm. to check the new words. But uh, the books, uh, read read books, and I I have very good books, and I I find. Uh, new words or I how I say enriquecer el lenguaje to I I enrich. learn new can en, enrich. Can enrich, enrich. Enrich, enrich 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 uh, my vocabulary with new words uh, reading reading this kind of book very good books but 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 the the question is best website for learning vocabulary uh, website i don't have time to 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 me neither i don't i don't have a an a special website teacher no, I don't. there's an and some special place i i i know for sure that um, what do, place do, do you know recommend? teacher Okay, uh, okay. It, it depends, you know, like if we're talking about vocabulary, what I do recommend is uh, dictionaries, online dictionaries. Uh, personally, I like using uh, Oxford 3000. You're right. Yeah, no, Oxford, but... Oxford 3000. You know, okay. 3000 uh, is the number of words that you'll find in this dictionary. And they are the 3,000 words that a person should know to have a conversation in English. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. And they come in alphabetical order. You know, they give you the uh, American pronunciation, British pronunciation. 
And, uh, and like I said, if you know those 3,000 words in that dictionary, uh, you shouldn't have any problems communicating. Good to know. Oh, yeah, thank you. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, when, uh, okay, where we, uh, do we come by? The, uh, where can buy this, this book? No, it's, it's online. It's online. Ah, it's online. Yeah, oh. I, I'll, I'll show it to you when we go back to the main session. Please, you. teacher, please. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Excellent. Good. All right, all right. Welcome back. Thank you. Dude. Thank you for being present. Remember, we finish <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, okay, so uh, going back to the vocabulary section, let me show you. Um, Decide. Yes, I think I show you this before. But just in case you were absent or you forgot, uh, Oxford 3000 is a very complete dictionary. Can you see my screen? Yes, yes, yes. teacher. Okay, okay. So, you, so you just type Oxford 3000 and you click on the first option. <laughs> and It's loading, give me a second. Okay, so Oxford 3000, why the name 3000? Because uh, if you know these 3000 words, you shouldn't have any problems communicating. Let me give you the first example. A, abandoned, abandoned, ability, able, about, above, abroad, absence, absent, absolute, absolutely, absorb, abuse, and academic. Uh, do you recognize all of them? Almost, almost. Mm. Yep. The, the majority. Okay. So if you yeah, keep going down, so. you know, access, accept, acceptable, you know, like you will be surprised to... Uh, to know how much vocabulary you understand, you identify. So, mm -hmm. uh, and there you go. So then you go to part two and then you go with the second part and then, and that's how you, um, that's how you uh, uh, identify this vocabulary. So you have the, mm. you have, the pronunciation, you have idioms that go with that particular word. And uh, it's a very nice dictionary that I do recommend. Yes. And, yes, the, and the best thing, it's it's free. And, wow. and, and you can also print uh, the dictionary. It's like uh, maybe 15 pages, maybe the most. So um, it's it's easy to print. So, ah, that in mind, you. yeah. 
Thank you. Okay, let so let me see this. Let's go back to the um, right here. Okay, avanzado uno, right here. Uh, we will do 4.7. It's a knowledge check. Remember the clauses for stating reasons and conditions, however, unless, mm -hmm. not however, but unless. Um, so have you finished this part, 4.7? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes sir. Okay. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, so from so you have like drivers can fall asleep on the highway. What is the best uh, option for this one? Unless they, unless they rest before long trips. Which one is the best answer? So drivers can fall asleep on the highway. Unless they rest before long trips. Okay, yep. unless they rest before long trips. Right. Yes. Okay, so let's see this one. What about number two? Power naps at work are a good idea. As long as you have the boss, okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah, if not, you can lose your job. Yeah. <laughs> Especially in Salvador. <laughs> okay, what about number three? Some people can't just get to sleep. Unless they take a bath before bed. Okay, let's try that one. What about number four? I was surprisingly alert at work. Considering that I didn't Considering sleep. that I didn't sleep at all. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Night owls hate to wake up early. Even if it, even if it, it it's a beautiful morning. Okay. All right. What's a night owl? Uh uh, in Spanish? Right, right. No. Yeah, ah, yes, owl, night owls. Yeah, yes. night owls are, are people that go to bed late. Oh, like think. this time of the night will be like extremely early for them to consider going to bed. You know? <laughs> what is the opposite of a night owl? An early bird. Early bird. Early. Yeah. Bird. So, yeah, are you a bird. night owl or are you an early bird? I consider myself to be an early bird. Hey. How do you say this velarse in English? Stay up. Stay up, hey. exactly. Stay up. You know, I don't like staying up. And uh, so I go to bed early. So, thank God I, I rest well and I wake up early as well. And number six, I only drink hot milk before bed. If I am having trouble sleeping. sleeping. If I'm having trouble sleeping. Okay, let's check the answers. Okay, six is correct. Five is correct. Mm -hmm. Four is correct. Three is correct. Number two is correct. And so is number one. Very good. Nice. You have very, you have very good student teacher. Exactly, of course, <laughs> of course. I know I do. All right. Any questions or comments about the knowledge check? No. No. no sir. Okay. It's let's okay, let's do some listening activities. Uh, do you guys have pen and paper? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, what is Imagine that we don't have an emergency. Imagine that we don't have COVID-19. What is your opinion about uh, physical education in schools? What is your opinion? Necessary. It's necessary. Mm -hmm. When you were in school, uh, did you like physical education? Yes. Yes, I like it. Okay. When you went to school, did you study in the morning or in the afternoon or all day? 
I study just in the morning. Until high, school, until high school in the morning. Okay. Almost all day, I think. Okay. Uh, when I was in middle school, which is uh, junior high school, I studied in the afternoon. And then my high school was all day. All day. Mm -hmm. And physical education was one of my favorite. You know, oh. you, yeah, you, you break the cycle of reading and being in a classroom and and things like that. You can okay. wear shorts. <laughs> Excuse me? You can wear shorts. Right, right. Yeah, that was an extra. Like, okay, if you participate, you can wear shorts. So, yeah, let's wear shorts. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know, like, oh, forget the uniform that day. Or, or you wear sweatpants, you know, a t-shirt and things like that. Okay, first question. What does she hope? What does she hope? What does she What do different studies show? I can't listen to okay, you. Uh, yeah, I, I what do different studies show? I I don't understand. I don't hear you. Don't worry. Don't... I'm, I'm I'm going to write the answers at the end. Don't worry if you're if you're having listening uh, problems. Where, how do you once they are in the class? How. How, how do students no. feel? How do students feel once they are in the class? Question number four: What money does he mention? What money does he mention? And the last question says. What will happen to the equipment? What will happen to the equipment? Okay, so let's check if you have the right um, writing. What is the first question? What does she, what does does she, she hope? hope? What does she hope? Okay, question number two. Yes. What, what do, do different studies show? Okay. What do different studies show? Uh, I, uh... That is the second question. What is question mm -hmm. number three? Wait. How do students do 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 feel once they meet once in the class? Okay, how do students feel once, once they, they are, in, are the class. in the class? Good. How do students feel once they are in the class? Very good. What is question number four? What money, what does, money does he mention? Good. What money <clears throat> does he mention? mention. Okay, what money does he mention? Mm -hmm. And what is question number five? What will what happen? Will happen to what the will happen? Uh -huh. to the equipment. To the equipment. I... Okay, to the equipment. Okay, equipment. I'm missing one letter here. Okay, what will happen to the equipment? Are the questions clear, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. So I'm yes. going to put you on mute so we don't have any interruptions. Uh, any questions before we start? Any comments? No. No, teacher. All right. No. Let me put you on mute. And here we go. Where is the audio right here? Okay.
Listen to a conversation between two students. Can you hear the audio? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. good. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I hope they drop the physical education course requirements soon so that I don't have to take any of those classes. Do you? Personally, I think the decision's a mistake. Really? Why? I mean... Well, I guess the president's right about some students not wanting to take them, but lots of different studies have shown that being physically fit helps people to concentrate better. But really, students should take on responsibility for their own health, don't you think? I mean, they don't need an authority to force them. They should, but they don't. Students frequently get wrapped up in their studies to the detriment of their physical health. Many I've talked to say that they resent having to sign up for the courses, but when they are in the class, they find it stimulating and a good mental break from sitting in the library. Well, they're probably sports-minded. A lot of students, like me for instance, I've never been very good at sports. I absolutely dreaded going to my high school gym class and playing basketball. Well, that's a good point in favor of keeping the physical education courses. Currently, the department's able to offer classes in lots of different sports. The variety of classes offers something for everyone. If the requirements are dropped, those classes will be cut, and that hurts people like you who aren't good at competitive sports like basketball, but who could benefit from something non-competitive like aerobics. I must admit that I'm out of shape, but I still don't think it's the university's job to make me fit. But you probably won't take on the responsibility of getting into shape. And think of all the money that's already been spent on sports equipment and facilities. The equipment will go to waste or break and not get replaced. One more time. Take notes. Four. Listen to a conversation between two students. I hope they drop the physical education course requirements soon so that I don't have to take any of those classes. Do you? Personally, I think the decision's a mistake. Really? Why? I mean... Well, I guess the president's right about some students not wanting to take them, but lots of different studies have shown that being physically fit helps people to concentrate better. But really, students should take on responsibility for their own health, don't you think? I mean, they don't need an authority to force them. They should, but they don't. Students frequently get wrapped up in their studies to the detriment of their physical health. Many I've talked to say that they resent having to sign up for the courses, but when they are in the class, they find it stimulating and a good mental break from sitting in the library. Well, they're probably sports-minded. A lot of students, like me for instance, I've never been very good at sports. I absolutely dreaded going to my high school gym class and playing basketball. Well, that's a good point in favor of keeping the physical education courses. Currently, the department's able to offer classes in lots of different sports. The variety of classes offers something for everyone. If the requirements are dropped, those classes will be cut, and that hurts people like you who aren't good at competitive sports like basketball, but who could benefit from something non-competitive like aerobics. I must admit that I'm out of shape, but I still don't think it's the university's job to make me fit. But you probably won't take on the responsibility of getting into shape. And think of all the money that's already been spent on sports equipment and facilities. The equipment will go to waste or break and not get replaced. All right, who has the first answer? Um, I heard uh, the lady want to the university to drop the education, the, the physical yeah. education. Exactly. They, have, they drop that. Yeah, it's a requirement. It's yeah, it's mandatory. Physical education is mandatory. So she hopes they drop the, the requirement. Right. Uh, what about the different studies? What do they show? They show that uh, it helps the concentration exactly yes it shows that it helps uh help people concentrate better yes okay and uh how do students feel once they are in the class 
they feel stimulated. Yeah, they feel stimulated. And the, and and yeah. and he mentioned something about the library. What does he mention? Did you get that part? Yeah, I heard something about library. I think it was that they concentrate better or something like that. Okay, it's a it's a mental break from sitting in the oh, library. Yeah. yeah, it's a mental break. Yep. Exactly. Uh, what money does he mention? Class. The money that was spent on all the equipment and facilities. Exactly. The equipment. money. That, the money that was invested in equipment and facilities. What's the meaning of facilities? Facilities are buildings. For example, buildings. buildings. Yeah. Yes, the. Okay. Courts. Infrastructure, you can also say yeah. it. And mm -hmm. what will happen to the equipment? Uh, probably to, to break. To it will break and. Break. Can be um, replaced. Uh, it can be replaced. Uh -huh. Yes. Place. Exactly. Very good. Now, from one to ten, how much did you understand from the audio? Eight, three. Eight, eight, nine, seventy-five, seventy, sixty-five, yeah, approximately. Yeah. Okay. Remember that you will find, uh, you will hear vocabulary that maybe is new for you. But don't worry about new vocabulary. You just need to pay attention to all the picture and uh, and, and 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 answer the right uh, the right question. Teacher. Yes. Uh, can can you uh, recommend us uh, a site to to uh, to listen? To, uh, you can uh, you can you can perfectly go to Google and put a TOEFL practice test. Practice test. That's that's Tough. one. Tough. Now, okay. if you want to practice uh, real listening, authentic listening, TED.com is a good option. You have real Ted. people, com. native yes. speakers, uh, and, and famous people: Michelle Obama, Al Gore, um, Donald Trump, uh, uh, leaders of the yeah. world speaking about different things. Yes. TED.com is good. Yeah, you you okay. should try the Chris Rock stand up show comedy. Okay, <laughs> yeah. And, and television is also really good to practice your listening. Yeah, comedy. Yeah, comedy is really he speaks good. speaks so fast. If you can understand what he say, you can understand everything. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. Yep. I like to watch Jimmy Fallon. It's a nice show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, so let's go to our last activity. Uh, when was the last time you guys did some volunteering work? Can you hear me? Excuse me? No, sir. Yeah. No, I... I when was the last time? Blue donation or... Uh, actually, when you say volunteer... No, right, when... when you're we're talking about time. investing time. Exactly, yes. investing time. Yeah, yeah. Investing I did time. like... Three years ago, or four, uh -huh. something like that. Yeah. Okay. I, you I say was, a, uh -huh. Go ahead. I was volunteer teaching uh, some kids at, uh, in a school library. It was like first to third grade. Okay. <laughs> nice experience. Teaching, yeah, sure. teaching is the best career ever. <laughs> It's, yeah, I know. It's really cool. It's really cool. She love it. Yeah. So, um, how do you say "ora sociales" in English? Social service. No. Community know. service. Community. Community. Yeah. Community. Yeah. Community, yeah. Community service. service. Yeah. It, sometimes people say social hours. Social. The word social hours exists, but that's when you go to a bar with your friends. Those are social hours. <laughs> You know, okay. When you socialize. Yeah, you socialize. <laughs> so you said, like someone calls you at 10 p.m. You say, look, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm doing I'm in my social hours. Like, don't interrupt. <laughs> it's so, an after office. Right, yeah. <laughs> after office. office yeah. Right. <laughs> so you say community service. So when you go All to right. university, when you go to high school, they ask you to do community service um, as part of the requirements for you to graduate. 
yes. so that includes too, that that's included too if you donated uh time it counts so that's going to be uh today's um um topic let me show you the questions I will send them to you. Can someone copy that and, and send it to the um to the chat? Okay, I will. Please, Noe. I will. Meanwhile, I will make Let the. Here works, uh, recreate, recreate, two, 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 and two. Excellent. All right, so start speaking. picture uh, here, I, I, am, I am see you, I am seeing you. Uh, you can see my, me, my profile picture. Yes, yes. 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 <laughs> okay, Noe, okay. how are That's you? <laughs> yes, right. a little, a little tired, but I'm here. <laughs> okay, serves to order? Yeah, that is correct. You help people yes. with their needs. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. Let me ask the next question. Do you often volunteer to do things? Yes, most time in my church, we have projects um, to, to serve to others. Uh, for example, we have a program that is called Hands, hands help. I don't okay. know in English, but in Spanish is manos que ayudan. Okay. We have that program, and we try to to order to our community, or for example, cleaning cleaning the streets, cleaning oh, some cool. parks. Yes, and all my work in the in the church is volunteer. Uh, for example, I am. I have a, a in a program for women that uh, teach the women to how to spend the money, how to use mm -hmm. a budget, and is the program is called Autosuficiencia, okay. and I I use my time to to teach uh, women about that. And they are going to be like. Okay, uh, I couldn't say they are going to be volunteer hours because I think I wouldn't do that if it was not a, a, a request uh, for the to the university. But maybe in the future I would like to do uh, um, volunteer work. Please remind me where do you study? Uh, Universidad Tecnológica. Tecnológica, right? Yes. Mm, I think they ask you like uh, some hours, but I, yeah. I I can remember. For example, uh, they asked me five hundred hours, and I did. Yeah, it's, it's the same. 
it's, it's the same, right? I did volunteer in, in yeah. um, online classes. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Well, I did also, yes? No, 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 go ahead. Okay, uh, well, uh, like one, g one week ago, I did volunteer hour. Um, maybe, no, 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 wait, I, I, I read it wrong. Now. What would the world be like if no one volunteered to do anything? Um, well, maybe uh, you have this, this part of the society who has uh, less opportunities or, or assets. Uh, I mean, maybe they don't have, maybe these people doesn't have work or food. So if, the, if no one cares about them, maybe these people could be really experiencing a bad, bad time. Um, I mean, the volunteering is, it is important for the society uh, because of the part of the society that doesn't have so many opportunities. So maybe it's sad, maybe it could be. American people is visiting yes. this place. Yes, or Asian uh, people. Asian too, yes, you're right. Yes, and it's, oh, okay, only, it's, it's nice because we, we have closed this place and it's good to know it and to visit it. Yes, when I, when I realized that, that uh, where people live in there, I said, wow, that people, <laughs> yes, yes, I see. I I think the same thing than you. Yes. Okay, well, okay. Let me let me check the 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 the, the question. The question. Let me okay. Check. Okay. Okay. I I will look in the chat that you put them to the old 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 women and they like when when we hear them yeah they really appreciate when you spend time with it actually uh, with them uh, i haven't been uh, in a place like that before but i can't remember um before my grandmother passed away she really loved we hear her stories her memories and so on yes yeah they really appreciate the attention the time that you can spend with them yeah yes Okay, let me go to the next question. What would the world be like if no one volunteered to do anything? Mm -hmm. I think uh, there there will be a lot of necessities in the in the world. Uh, I think everyone needs to everyone and. Uh, volunteer is a is a way to to show love, and if you don't volunteer, you are not showing love. And the world without love, it can be exist. Yeah, I think that it will be a worse place that we we have at the time. I mean, even when it's something nice because you help. Uh, other people maybe there could be some cases where you could um, like regret but I think uh, or I don't know maybe not it's because you, it's for other people it's not for you yeah well the number four maybe for you what kind of voluntary work would you like to do well, I I would like to to volunteer as cleaning maybe the some part of the city like a park oh, yeah. or like a, you know a place who that is not clean because I think sometimes we could make like rivers, a beaches, uh, yes, places like that. Yeah. exactly. Okay. Uh, what about you? Well, um, 
um, stick with the uh, teaching, but I like teaching. to teach like, yeah, like, um, well, for every age, I think it's okay. But I do like to teach uh, little kids. I really like it. Nice. It is sounds really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, number five. Number five. What would the world be like if no one volunteered to do anything? Oh, pretty sad place. Uh, sorry, need, I couldn't listen. A uh, pretty sad place. We need people uh, do volunteer ah. because some places, as 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 I told you. We cannot do everything just for the money and volunteer. They do it because they want to help. Yes, I think it's something that the world needs because there are going to be some situations where volunteer people it's required mm -hmm. and it's something, something nice to help. Uh, okay, number six. All right. Welcome back. Um, any questions or comments about doing volunteer work? No questions, no comments? No, sir. Okay, so we're going to stop right here. We continue tomorrow. Remember our last class is tomorrow. The platform uh, should be ready tomorrow at midnight. So don't um, make sure that you complete all the exercises in the platform. Yes, um, have okay. a good night. Sleep well. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Good, night. Thank you. See ya. good night, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye, bye, -bye teacher. See ya. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night.